Salutations. Uh, salutations again. Welcome to the Keith Liddell Internet Network show. Uh, today's episode is entitled Self Help. And as usual, it's not what, what or how you can help yourself, but how may I help you? Uh, today, we're going to have a key word today. Uh, today's key word is due diligence. That means homework, man. And doing your own research. And uh, as I'm going to inform you today, some outlets and our 15 minute show that can help people, man, uh, better their lives. One, uh, I noticed that there's a huge poverty increase on the rise in the last three years. Uh, people are homeless on the streets, they have nowhere to go. So this is really dedicated to, uh, for you and uh, other people that want to get their lives better, make a little bit more uh, cash money, and uh, just live a better life. And also for those who uh, even have it, who reach the apex, you know, they didn't get back to the communities and uh, these some outlets that they can use in order to do that. But for one, I'm going to uh, first start off with people that need it the most. If you are under the age or you go up to the age of 18, there's programs that are geared towards helping you right now. Uh, the one, one would be Job Corps. Job Corps is out there and uh, they're big, but um, there's particular, there may be a waiting list, um, but they will accept you right now. There's even a phone number for them, an 800 number, and a website number for them. And I'm going to inform you of that. But uh, they're also, ironically, the St. Louis Job Corps is on my bad boy list, though. They were, you know, they were kind of bogus to a couple people, and I got some phone calls regarding that. But if you're in dire need, they can be an immediate assistance for you. And uh, really, real talk, I think that if you know how to use them, you can use it to your advantage. And we'll explain how to do that too on the show. But um, going back to the other people too, that can help you. Um, there's another program for people who go up to the age under and to the age of 21 called Teen Living. And uh, Teen Living, there's many of them located all over the country. All you have to do is just simply type it into the computer and uh, it'll pop up all the sites that they are and um, send you a job for. They'll show you the I'll show you also the phone number. Matter of fact, the phone number for Job Corps, the 800 number is 1 800 733 Jobs. And you call that, you'll be out of your situation just like that. And they'll accept you right now. Um, uh, the military, as always, it's, you know, always uh, another outlet, but I would not prefer them. I would prefer you honestly, to go to more uh, beneficial programs that are geared towards not teaching you, you know, <laughs> warfare, but, uh, you know, teaching you how to get, you know, get education and how to get a job. The army can, can do that for you, but we have to remember that's not their main goal. That's not their, that's not really what they are geared towards primarily. But they are also another, um, another option. I would prefer the Air Force or possibly the Coast Guard, but those are very uh, hard to get into. But the harder sometimes the better. Um, another way, another program that's really good would be uh, Habitat for Success. Habitat for Success, type that in too. They help you actually to get housing. Um, the Federal Aid Office, um, 
DHS office, who is Department of Human Services. They offer uh, job fairs, they offer uh, earn fair, they offer programs to get you on your feet too as well. So uh, that's really fun for any age, but preferably for people who are uh, below up to 21 uh, and 24. That's really what those first few organizations that I mentioned are really geared towards uh, helping you to get referred to the services that you need. Um, if you're over the age of 21 or 24, being you up 35, is a work program that is uh, geared towards helping you out too. And the CRN, the CRN is a trucking company. They will hire you right now. Or, uh, another one is, uh, you have Levy, um, you have uh, numerous trucking companies out there who uh, actually, they really help to gear people, get them off the street. Quite frankly, uh, you, you'll be living at an institution learning how to drive a truck and then you'll be on your own. You'll be living in the truck, believe it or not. And you'll be getting paid to do this. So you're on the road, you know, for a long time, but you get paid a lot of money. Seriously. I know guys have done it and um, big ups to them. Some of them even have their own fleet now where they're actually entrepreneurs and they have other people who are under them and uh, they make residual your income based on that. So these are opportunities, guys. If you're over the age of 35, and you're say 45 to 60, and you are in a predicament that's kind of um, you're kind of bad, really, and you're homeless, uh, you can go to a program that is actually a nursing facility. It's uh, called Long Term Care, but I guarantee you, it's light years better than being on the street. Um, if you're struggling, you need know, a place to go. That's the best that I would actually uh, prescribe. And it's uh, it's in, it's, they're all over the country. But this one I know is uh, actually in Illinois. And you can look these people up to type in long-term care and they'll tell you all the facilities that are actually really good. Crestwood is one of them. Type in Crestwood Nursing Facility. He'll show you all those that are in the country and they will accept you right now. If you have um, particularly uh, some type of hospital card or medical card, they'll get you off the street right now. And you'll be able to live in these facilities for a while until you get on your feet. But they will apply for benefits for you in this long-term facility and uh, you eventually be able to save up and possibly move out and that's how you get your start again but uh, we're probably wondering how did I get to this topic of uh, just homes and some property I was walking downtown man I saw all these people literally homeless on the street and that worried me I said this is the great this is America, the great country of America. Why don't we have something on the street? And it seems like nobody even cares about that. Nobody's trying to even do anything to to fix this problem. That's on the rise. Unemployment is on the rise. So we're winding down. We're coming towards the, the ten minute mark. Um, but uh, this is what this episode is really geared to self-help, helping yourself, becoming self-sufficient, and not so much only depending on the government, but putting on ourselves uh, to really help ourselves out. You know, that's just really imperative. This is a time that, um, you know, we really need to sit together and find out avenues of how we can uh, better our lives. And uh, my personal opinion, I'm going to include this for another topic in depthly, but God, God is huge for this. You don't have God, you don't have anything like to do, just to let you know. But uh, again, if you call those places, you will find a place to stay. And uh, don't make it 
not necessarily. It's a foundation point. It's not meant to be there forever. But you know, once you're there, a good avenue would be to literally get education go to school. There are grants out there for scholarships for people that don't have anywhere to go. Their uh, financial aid is huge. You know, um, these are the tricks of the trade and nobody really wants to uh, to say that because, you know, it's like they're trying to keep this a secret. It shouldn't be. You know, we all go to tough times, but the key is to, you know, tough it out, man, to better your situation. And that's, uh, that's what we're going to do today. I hope I was a big help to a lot of people, man. Who needed it and who needed it like right now. Uh, so don't don't be afraid again. Call me 24 hours a day. I'm open. Hit my phone line up, hit my email up. Kayla Dale 2, type that in to any search engine, typically Google. Uh, I'm a big fan of Google. Type it in, baby. I'm here, man. Uh, call me, give me a call. All the information's on the website. And uh, that's what's up. So if you need somebody to talk to, you feel like you can't make it, or you can't, you know, you feel suicidal, or you feel like, you know, nobody cares about you hitting me up. Because I care, that's why I'm one reason why I'm doing this show. Uh, so, and I feel like this is what my civic duty is to help people out, man. And not only that, it's my moral responsibility is to do what I call God's will. And God's will is to help people. So, if you're not doing that, man, you're not really doing anything. So, uh, that's really how I feel about that the topic. So, this is our second episode. Um, again, very pleased. Shout out again to the sponsors, LMSC, 4ABC, ATO, Anti Tyranny Organization, um, Corporate Equalizer, uh, NY. MCA, National Component Line. Uh, big ups, man, could have done without you. Big ups to God, too. Thank you very much, man. I really appreciate it. Uh, my all sincerity to my audience and fans, people that have, uh, that have helped me out through this. And uh, keep the emails coming. And all that, and call me on the phone line. If you got anything that you need to talk about. And so, uh, I also scheduled two and a half people, special guests on the show. And, uh, we'll break down a whole bunch of different topics, like we did today, that will benefit, quite frankly, uh, everybody, especially those in need. So, uh, again, we're going to wind the show down in about two minutes. Uh, we keep Keep the line open for comments, disagreements, uh, agreements. Uh, how'd you like the show? Shoot me surveys. Um, give me some advice about the show. Give me, you know, give me your input. I definitely want to hear. It. And it's again 24 hours, Kayla Dell 2 or Kayla Dell 2.com. Google search engine. <laughs> give me up. All uh, my information is there. Give you some detailed information about uh, what's to come in future or later episodes. I got them right here. I'm actually taking a look at this. We got some interesting topics coming up, man. Real big stuff. But we're winding down to the last minute and uh, it's been a pleasure as usual. Uh, just hang in there. Stay dedicated. If you need some more help or advice, uh, you know what to do. So, uh, I'm excited, man, that you were able to make this uh, broadcast. As usual, I'll say it again. It's not how you can help yourself. It's how may I help you. And uh, I'll see you later. In deuce.